Hello creative ones, it's Michelle Brown here, creative director for MixedMediaArt.net and I'm so looking forward to catching up with you today and sharing some of my new favourite products. So today we're going to be looking at the Studio Light Art by Marlene Do It Yourself Journal and Bunting Kit and there is so much in this kit and I really think you're going to have a lot of fun. So let's jump in. Okay, so this is the kit, it comes in a really cute box and let me find one that I've already opened. So when we open it up, pull it out, like I said, it comes in a really cute box. It also shows all the bits on the back. So it comes with six different dies, some different rings, some cardstock, some reinforcers and some ribbon. So let's have a look at that in a little bit more detail. Get that out of your way. So like I said, it comes with a whole heap of dies. So we've got the large one that has the oh that has the holes in it it then comes with one with a crinkled edge and one with holes so again just for a better look at that it comes with one that does the outside the outside with the holes in it for the journal or for the bunting it then has the medium size that has the edges on it which are really great for layering. And then the one in the middle has these dots already cut out of it as well. So that can be layered as well. And then the three smaller ones, we've got this one with a border, a squiggly one, and then more of a torn cut. And so that gives us this one which again fits quite nicely on top of there or on top of that one. So there's that one. And then there's the two smaller ones with the crinkly edge. So again, really nice little border. And then this one's got a bit of a wavy edge as well. So they're the six dies it comes with. Now also in the kit, like we said, are these rings. So there's six of those and you can also by further refills in all different shapes and sizes. Oh my goodness, I didn't try and get these out before, did I? So these clip open and allow you to join your journal together, or you can use them as hangers. So they are really simple little oh, plastic opening with a hinge. And that then allows you to bind your journal together. It comes with that. And it also comes with these reinforcers, like I said, so they are there to stick over the holes to help make sure that it doesn't tear. And then underneath, it comes with the card and the ribbon as well. So like I said, there are six lots of, 12 sheets in different colors. So we've got black, we've got the red, yellow, some white, the pink, and the green. So that's plenty of cardstock to get you started. So let's have a little play with these dies and I'll show you how easy they are to cut them out. So let's get all this out of the way. So let's start with the main one first. So I've got my trusty cuddle bug cutter here ready to go. Now let's just Zoom that out a little bit so we can see. There we go. So we've got that. And then we've got the plates we need to push it through. Now I've also included just an extra sheet of paper in there to give it a little bit more pressure. And then I've been using these A5. So A4 cut in half is a great size to go through the cuddle bug and perfect for these dies as well. So that's the size I'll be using today. So an A5 size. So to layer it up, we get our thick base of our cuddle bug, just our sheet of paper to give us a bit more thickness, our cutting plate. We put down our piece of card. We then put down our cutting die. Now I have noticed as well that this is not quite symmetrical so not quite the same either way so what I've done is with a sharpie added a little dot there so I know that that's sort of my top so whether I do it this way or whether I decide to turn it around this way I know that I've got it consistent so all my pages will be in the same place 
Now the other thing I want to do is just to help hold it all together. I've got little bits of low tack tape here, or painter's tape it's sometimes called, and I just use those to help it hold in position. And then we're going to put our sheet on top. So then opening our cuddle bug, feeding it through, so in one side, holding it tight. And don't worry if the plates crack a little bit, that is what they're designed to do. And a ah, bit of a push over the finish line. Take out our sandwich. Take off the top. Take off our little bits of tape so we can reuse them. And then there we have, we take off the die and there we can see our page ready to go. Now it does need a little bit of pushing the circles out and they come out quite easily. And also sometimes they get stuck in the die as well. And you just need an awl or a needle to push those through and then you're ready to use that again. So you can see that's used quite a bit of that A5 paper. And we've got a page all ready to go. Now I've already cut out oh, quite a few because I want to make a book with quite a few pages. So I've used some different colors. I've used this really great tonal one, I love that. I've also used just some straight ephemera with words on it. So that'll give a bit of a contrast in the book. And like I said, then just making sure I'm aware of where, which way I've turned those so that they will all continue to fit really nicely together. So all the holes will be lined up. So that's using the bigger die. Get all those out of the way. So the great thing about these next two sizes is that I can fit them both on to one page. Now, if there's nothing we like better is to make sure we're getting really good use out of our paper. So again, an A5 piece of paper. Now this die checking that the cutting surface is down, so we're gonna sit it there. And again, because this is quite tight, I wanna make sure I line it up. Get our little pieces of tape so that it will be held firmly. And then this one, again, turning it over, and this will fit just here as well. So we can just get both of these out of one page, which is such a good use of our cardstock. So again, putting that in place, putting the sandwich down, making sure it's all lined up. Again, because this is quite tight, we want to make sure it's lined up so that we don't damage our cuddle bug. Opening it up. And popping our sandwich in, rolling it through. And this one's using the whole length of the plates. Oh, last bit over the end. There we go. And again, take off the plate, take off the tape. And then we've got the crinkly one. So, oh, this needs a little bit of persuasion. And then we've got the ones with the holes in it as well. And again, they come out really easily. So again, if we look at the ones I did before, there's the crinkly one, and we can see how that would layer up really nicely with the holes in it. So it gives us a real sense of dimension, contrast, and then, with this one, if we take the one with the holes cut in it, it gives us that other interest as well. So particularly if we're doing a banner, you could just imagine a letter on there. We could do, you know, alternate colours all the way through. So they're the three larger dies. Now the great thing about the three smaller ones is that we can get those all onto one sheet as well. So again, getting really good use out of our cardstock. So let's get them all lined up. Here's our third sheet. So again, we've got our larger of the three of the borders. So I think we fitted these this way. So again, depending on what pattern paper you've got, because this is nice and plain, we can put it either way. Stick that one there. Again, this one, turn it over so that the cutting face is down. And again, just make sure you have a play with your different card stock and your dies and your machine because everyone works slightly differently. So it's always good to do a bit of a test run and don't go ahead and use your really good paper straight away. So we can see that easily fits inside there. Again, putting our sandwich together, 
leaving a bit of running, run it through our machine. And there we go, now we can pop our cuddle bug away, take off our sandwich, and there are our bits ready to go. So we've got a really pretty little frame with those half circles cut out in it, little scallops, that's so cute. I think we've seen that theme in some of Marlene's other pieces, something similar to that. And then we've got the piece with the nice jagged edges, and then this cute piece which is a little bit torn and I did notice see this has got a bit of an indent and so is this one so you imagine I have done them in the same color which makes it a bit hard to see but you can see how that actually fits quite nicely together so that is the kit like I said it comes with six cutting dies so the three smaller ones and the three larger ones it comes with the rings and the binders and then it comes with, oh, where do I put it? Here it is. <laughs> there it comes with the card and the ribbon. And it allows you to make these really fun, fantastic journals. So you can layer them up. You can put the different ones on. Of course, you could then have them strung out as a banner. You put different letters on each one or different sayings. Um, it could easily be a mini album if you're more into scrapbooking. Um, really cute little card fronts if you're more of a card maker. And I can just see so many uses for it. So I hope that's given you a really good insight into Studio Lights Art by Marlene's Essentials Do-It-Yourself Journal and Bunting Kit. So I hope you've enjoyed that look at the do-it-yourself journal and bunting kit. It's a great kit with all of those dies, with a whole heap of cards, some ribbons, some reinforcing. And again, just to get your imagination kick-started, it could be a journal, it could be an album, we could make bunting. Um, there's just so many things you can do with it. Now, Mixed Media Art is situated in Melbourne, Australia. We have a retail store in Mount Waverley. And of course, we have our online store as well, shipping across Australia. So check out the link will be below this video. And I hope you come and look at our Mixed Media Art store and catch up with us soon. So this is Michelle signing off. We hope you have a crafty day.